Welcome to this beginner's walkthrough of Procreate, a digital painting app. This app is really popular with digital artists and offers a massive range of features. To start with, I want to do a quick walkthrough to show you what you get, as there is not a free version for this app, so you have to buy it to access everything. It costs about £10 to buy, but I feel this is quite good value for what you get. So here's the app's icon. It's a rainbow feather swoosh on like a black background. So let's tap it to start. Once the app is open, you will see your gallery. Here are all the images you've already created. I can open these to continue working by tapping them or export or delete them. To create a new blank canvas, touch the plus icon on the top right corner. This will bring up the option to have a standard size or to create your own. I'll tap the custom option at the top here to show you how this looks. There's a lot of different elements you can adjust the main one is the dimensions, the width and the height, which you can change to pixel, inches, centimeters, or millimeters, whichever you feel comfortable working in. There's also the DPI and the amount of layers you'll have available. If you want to keep your image digital, RGB works well. Otherwise choose CYMK as it's more compatible with printers. Larger canvases have less layers to work on. So keep this in mind when choosing sizes. If I put in a large size, you can see that the layers go down from 250 to 51. So this does have a big impact on what you can do. Let's create it. <laughs> and as you can see, it's a bit of a skinny one, but we can zoom in by pinching our fingers like this. We can twist it. So whatever you feel most comfortable working in. You can also double tap to undo but we haven't done anything yet, so that won't do anything. The tools are arranged along the edge of the canvas, like most painting apps, so they don't block your view while painting. From left to right along the top, we have the back to gallery and save button here. The actions, adjustments, selection tool, move brush, brushes, the smudge, the rubber tool, layers and color palette. Along the left-hand side, you'll see the sliders to adjust the opacity of the brush and the size, as you can see here. There is also the undo and redo tool here, and you can see we know which tool is active by the blue highlight. The canvas itself looks pretty streamlined and it's easy to find everything. Uh, there's a lot of hidden layers though, so enjoy um, exploring. Um, there's a lot of ways you can customize the different features depending on your personal workflow, which you will keep developing as you find your feet. Um, there's a lot of support and tutorials for this app as well online uh, with a really strong community following so you can find additional help there. So I think once you're finished, um, I'll show you how to save and share. So. Procreate doesn't have necessarily a save button. It kind of saves automatically. Um, you have the undo and redo tool, uh, basically unlimited. So the when you go back to the gallery view, that's when it saves. What it also does is it resets the undo and redo tool. So make sure that you're really happy um, with your piece before you tap the gallery view, because otherwise you won't be able to edit it in the same way. So. If I tap gallery at the top here, you can see it takes us back to the main gallery page. If we now want to share what we've done, we can select it by tapping the select button, which you see brings up um, a new kind of menu. And it also um, offers these little um, dots by each canvas. So if I tap a canvas, you can see now they get filled with a blue tick. So you know they're selected. If I tap it again, it deselects it. If I tap multiple canvases, you can see I can do some batch um, actions with them. Along the top, you have the um, stack, which is this app's version of a folder. Uh, preview, which just kind of gives you a full screen preview of the, the image. Um, share, which is what we're interested in. Duplicate, which is a, how to make a copy of your canvas and delete. So if I tap share, you'll see it gives us a range of different image formats for us to choose from. So that there's quite a few there. Um, 
so that's quite useful. If I tap off that, it kind of closes the menu down. And if I tap the little cross, it also um, takes us back to the standard view. So I hope you found this really helpful. Um, in my next video for Procreate, I'll go into a little bit more detail with all the tools uh, and really start to have a lot of fun with it. Hope to see you there. Bye.